Hi guys, this is Tor from TC Electronic here at the TC Studios in Denmark. And today I'm here to show you the Spark Booster. Boosters can be seen as kind of the Swiss army knife of drive pedals. You can use it for a number of different applications, from just lifting up a solo a little bit so it can be heard, or for pushing your amp harder so the tubes do all the work really. So join me and check out some of the different applications you can use Spark Booster for. Most boost pedals on the market only has one knob, a level knob. But Spark Booster has a couple of extra things hidden up its sleeve that really allows you to tweak the tone exactly the way you like it. So I'll just go over the different knobs one by one and explain what they do. So first of all, we have the gain knob. And the gain knob actually allows you to drive, blend in a little bit of overdrive. It's not an overdrive per se, it just adds a little bit of grit to the sound. So you get that kind of feel that you get when you crank up an amp really hard. Next up we have the level control and that determines how much of a boost you get. And you can get from of course from 0 dB or even less actually so you can attenuate the signal and all the way up to a whopping 26 dB of boost. Below the gain and level controls you will find a bass and treble knob. And those are active filter controls so you can actually both boost and attenuate the bass and the treble frequencies independently to tailor your sound specifically. So if you have a kind of treble guitar like my Strat that I have here I can crank up the bass a little bit and maybe lower the treble. Or if I have like a boomy Les Paul, I could back down on the bass a little bit and add a bit of treble if I want to. In the center position, the booster is totally clean, no coloration whatsoever. Last but not least, we have the toggle switch that basically sets the way the booster works. In the middle position, we have a totally clean boost. It doesn't color your sound in any way. In the top position, we have a fat boost and that attenuates certain frequencies to make your guitar sound fatter, which is especially cool for a Strat-type guitar where the, uh, the bridge pickup in particular can get a little bit trebly. With the fat boost kicked in, you actually almost makes it sound like a hamburger, or at least a much fatter, nicer sound for a lead guitar. In the bottom position we have a mid boost, and this is great for cutting through in any kind of live situation where you have a whole band playing. The mid boost is kind of like a knife that just cuts right through the mix and it also pushes the specific frequencies that make your guitar really snarl in a great, great way. Last but not least, Spark Booster runs off a 9 volt battery or of course a power supply like here and it's two bypass. But uh, enough talking, let's check out some different examples and hear how it actually sounds. In this first example, I've set everything at 12 o'clock on Spark Booster and what it's going to do is just push the amp a little bit harder. It's going to add a little bit of grit, no filtering whatsoever and just make the amp work harder. So it's actually the distortion you'll hear in a little while is actually the tubes in the amp working harder. And just uh, for reference, this is a 68 Plexi Marshall. Here's my dry sound with the pedal bypassed. And now a Spark Booster. You'll notice how the amp just suddenly becomes more alive and more open sounding. In this next example, I back down the gain a bit and crank the level, so I'm basically using Spark Boost as a totally clean boost now. It doesn't add any coloration and it's all the amp that you're hearing. First without the pedal. What I've done now is the opposite. So now I cranked up the gain control all the way and back down the level a bit. So now Spark Booster is adding just that little bit of drive that will really help bring out the nice characteristics in the amp. Without the pedal. Now with the pedal. In these first examples you heard some clean boost settings. Now let's check out some mid boost ones. In this example, I've kept Spark Booster in the mid setting, but I've backed down the gain quite a bit just to bring out those stratty kind of sounds on the neck pickup. So let's check it out. First my dry sound. And now with the pedal engaged.
Now I switch to the fat setting and this will really help give my guitar some body and some fatness. So clean sound first. And now with the pedal. In the examples you heard so far, we use Spark Booster to push this amp over the cliff, so to speak. But it works equally great with drive pedals, and below me here I have the Dark Matter Distortion and Mojo Mojo Overdrive. So let's hear how those pedals sound when we kind of push them with the Spark Booster. Here's Dark Matter Distortion alone. And now with Spark Booster added. Let's try to keep the same settings, but just flick between the mid, clean and fat boost to hear the difference between the three different voicings. In this example, I've kicked in the Mojo Mojo Overdrive with just a medium gain setting and I've added a little bit of delay from the flashback delay as well. And now I'm going to add Spark Booster for a great, great lead sound. Here's without Spark Booster. And now with it. A totally different way of using a booster is to add life and sparkle to a somewhat sterile sounding amp. So a lot of amps really sound the best when you can crank them up, but a lot of times that's not possible. So you can use Spark Booster to kind of uh, recreate that sound you get when the tubes are really working. So it's not a distorted sound per se, it's just add some hair, for lack of a better word, to the sound. So let's check out the difference. Here's with the Spark Booster off. Here's with Spark Booster on. Last but not least, you can of course use Spark Booster as a traditional boost, that is to raise the level of a solo or a lick that you want to emphasize. And when used that way, it's best if you place it after the distortion or the overdrive that you have, either from a pedal or from the amp. And this is what I've done here. So in this example, I have the Mojo Mojo Overdrive on, and I'll just kick in Spark Booster on a more or less clean setting, just to raise the level for a solo. So the examples I showed here today are just some of the ways you can use Spark Booster. It's an incredibly versatile pedal that can be used in a number of different applications. So make sure you check it out both on the TC website of course and at your local dealer today.